I have a roasted broccoli salad that is just delicious. I was so excited to find this and I'm going to share it with you today. So we're going to start with about four cups of broccoli cut into florets. Now, how much is four cups? Well, that depends on how small your florets are. So we are just gonna rinse them off and cut them up and put them in a bowl. And then you're going to add either raw sunflower seeds as I'm doing here, or raw pine nuts, either one is fine. Then you're going to add some melted coconut oil or some other oil that you like. Also dried oregano, salt, and then put in some fresh ground black pepper. Now all of this is going to be tossed and then spread out on a foil lined pan and they're gonna roast this at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. While that's baking in a small bowl, we're gonna make the dressing. We're gonna to whisk together red wine vinegar, olive oil, a bit of garlic powder, nutmeg, and pepper. Give it a good whisk. When the broccoli just begins to get a little bit brown on some of the edges, then it's done. Now, sometimes when I've made this, it takes 10 minutes. Uh, today when I made it, it took 14 minutes. So just keep looking at it after the 10 minute mark. After you take it out of the oven, put it in a bowl to cool off. Then stir in some dried cherries. Now you can use a different kind of dried fruit like raisins, but I found the dried cherries just put this over the top. Then toss it with the dressing. It's best to refrigerate this for at least two hours or overnight just to get it to cool down and all of the flavors to blend together. If you want before serving it, you can add some crumbled goat cheese, but I'm skipping that today. So that's it. That's my roasted broccoli salad. Please check out some of my other videos by clicking the little I in the upper right hand corner of your screen or one of the two images on the right side of your screen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye.